way number 16 on how to pass the June 2022 Living Environment Regents. Guard cells are a plant's way of maintaining homeostasis, which is how they regulate water loss by opening and closing their stomates or pores. So when you see a question about guard cells, it's going to deal with regulating the flow of water vapor out of leaves, preventing excess water loss by the plant. Way number 16 on how to pass the January 2023 Living Environment Regents. Guard cells are a plant's way of maintaining homeostasis, which is how they regulate water loss by opening and closing their stomates or pores. So when a plant is in a hot and dry environment, the guard cells may close the stomate openings in the leaves. This action will directly maintain homeostasis by reducing the evaporation of water. Way number 16 on how to pass the June 2023 Living Environment Regents. Guard cells are a plant's way of maintaining homeostasis, and that's how they regulate water loss by opening and closing their stomates or pores. So, when you see question talk about guard cells, they're probably talk about a feedback mechanism to control water loss. Way number 16 on how to pass the August 2023 Living Environment Regents. Guard cells are a plant's way of maintaining homeostasis, which is how they regulate water loss by opening and closing their stomates or pores. So an example of how a plant maintains homeostasis includes regulating the action of guard cells. Way number 16 on how to pass the January 2024 Living Environment Regents. Guard cells are a plant's way of maintaining homeostasis, which is how they regulate water loss by opening and closing their stomates or pores. So when you see a graph below that shows the daily rates of water loss in various plant species, chances are good that uh, they're most likely going to control water loss through the actions of guard cells in their leaves.